What's going on everybody and welcome to your 14th Angular JS tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be um, starting off with a basic login form kind of mini series in Angular JS. I just realized that there are many more things you can learn but you know I just can't go over each and every specific thing and um, you know just tell you what that does and how that works so we'll be working on s with some web apps and as we code together then I'll just teach you what everything is doing and how everything is working so in this way you'll be able to learn more and quickly so let's get started so to give you a basic information about a login form it's just like something like you can say an input field which accepts username and passwords and it would just validate your credentials and would redirect to a specific page if your credentials match otherwise you know it would just show you an error box alright so for the time being let's keep the ng view and let's create a new page let's say this one as login.html let's create a quickly create a form with login.html I'll just say ID okay excuse me guys someone rang the doorbell alright where were we yeah so we were talking about creating a form and let's give it an ID of my login and that's pretty much it we don't need any method because you know we are doing everything at client side so let's create an input type text name um, username and id same as well and i'll just copy this again with a break alright so we are good to go now we have got the login page ready and I like to hook it up inside the controller.js so let's see I want when it's at the home page the template should be login and when it's at the dashboard I want the users to be redirected to dashboard dot html now the problem is that I can authenticate users to their specific places but a user can directly access the dashboard without going to this page now this is the problem with this routing now I'll come back to this when we will actually complete our whole application with just the security issue so let's say another page when error or I guess I can just simply show everything on the login page itself so now we need something as a module so I'll just create um, another div here I'll just say did I just say a module no this should be a controller sorry so we need to create a controller and uh, let's create a controller let's say login controller and let's just fill it with a scope right now we'll add with our requirements and let's say scope dot summit now scope dot summit um, we would create this function and this would fire whenever the form is submitted so let's create scope.summit function and I guess I should just create everything here inside in this place right now so that you, you guys are just not confused so give me two minutes and I'll make everything clear to you alright so here's our button or I'll just go ahead with a button and I'll add 
that I'll bind basically a click event with this button and if you remember from your JavaScript tutorials what we need to do is to attach a click event we used to create an on click now this would perfectly work fine but since our function this function is inside a controller and is not a global and I want angular to take interfere in this matter therefore I would use angulars own um, directive of the click event so ng click would fire just like the JavaScript on click did but this would pass the control to your view this controller right here login control login control same things alright so we need to give this as ng model username remember that we need to get the value of all these two password and I guess we could just get rid of the name one you know I'm used to add this because name one is required to get data at the server side PHP so okay so let's say I'll create var u name is equal to scope dot username just for clarity let's keep them in variable scope dot password otherwise you could just simply access them with this these things as well now let's say if scope dot username equals um, something which you have to add as um, valid credentials and scope dot password equals admin as well whoa admin as well then I want location dot path and inside the parenthesis what I'll do is I'll supply here dash board alright so I'll explain in a minute what we are doing here okay so what we've done so far is we just created a simple form right here inside a controller uh, inside div actually I could give it here only but leave it now now I have binded the username and password to these two input fields to grab them inside the controller nothing much new we have done this all done this before then I have created a button and attached an event listener to these uh, this button inside the angular and remember that this form right here is never submitted this is technically never submitted we are just grabbing the information entered in the form and processing it with angular.js because if it were submitted then we had to supply something in the action and do like um, return false in the JavaScript to prevent the browser from redirecting at this path alright so now this location thing this location is um, another thing in angular.js which helps you to you know just locate um, inside the URL change the hash values so instead of doing something like this window dot location dot hash equals um, dashboard this would also work but we have got a better better alternative to this in angular and that is location dot path dashboard and this would this do not require any hash because path automatically knows that we are working with angular so this has to do, has to be hashed so as to prevent the page from loading all right enough of talks and let's see if this works or not so here's the browser and let's go to 14.html and as you can see here Angular just did an Ajax request here to this page and whoa I guess that was not visible alright so you see there was an Ajax request so first of all I'll just try with the valid credentials because we haven't set validation for invalid ones so I'll just do admin and admin login 
and we do not have the dashboard.html otherwise this code works just fine so let's go ahead and just create a blank dashboard.html welcome user simple as that let's reload this again reload admin admin enter enter won't work alright so chrome offering me to save the password no never so now you see that we are redirected to the dashboard one and it says me welcome user but the problem is that I can simply go to this URL without actually login logging in into the home page so to fix that what we need is some conditional routing and I can just simply specify a lot wrong stuff so this would just add validation for everything else so now yeah I was talking about conditional routing now conditional routing is something which would allow you to set up um, conditional route um, you know conditional routing just as the name suggests would allow you to put some conditions and if they are matched then only redirect the user to that particular page or URL otherwise throw them wherever you want so we would be looking at conditional routing in the next tutorial and thank you for watching this one and I'll see you then goodbye and take care